Alright guys, welcome to Miami, day number two, baby. Yesterday, the first day was a bit of a short one, obviously, Vic and I flew in quite late, and we still we still managed to smash it, considering yeah. how late we got in. Yeah. Like, we're out mad late, saw Martin Garrix, it's absolutely awesome, but today is our first full day. So, where's the drone gone, actually? It's in here. So, prepared Vic has actually brought, uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> has actually brought his own drone along, so we're gonna go to the beach and hopefully fly the drone around, and then I think Tiesto's playing today as well, so. Yeah, and there's Paul Pike from 12 from midday pool party here all day all day that's that's lit boys an all-day pool party drone flying beach pools it's gonna be absolutely sick guys so if you go on to enjoy this vlog give it a thumbs up and let's start day number two boys I need some breakfast I am absolutely starving uh, you're gonna destroy some food uh. yes. <laughs> that's literally where Hilo was playing outside and the pools out there as well so we're probably gonna grab some food we could always eat the food by the pool you know yeah we'll see what happens come to the Miami power breakfast egg whites Chicken, you know, being healthy, man. Look at Vic over here. Look at Vic, what are you doing? Just eating waffles. To be fair, I want to try and steal some of those, so good luck, mate. They're gonna be gone in a second. <laughs> so I ate the whole of mine. I was like, Vic, please, Vic, please. And I've just stolen the rest and of his. It. Look at it. it. I'm on that it. unhealthy grind now. <laughs> so I'm scrolling through Twitter, checking the uh, schedule for today at Ultra. Look at this Don Diablo at seven, followed by Tiesto for an hour at quarter past seven, and then all the way at 11, we've got Hardwell, man. But we don't actually have tickets for Ultra today. So what, boys, we've got to get in for this, haven't we? Look at this oh, lineup. Afro Jack. Afro W and W, like Avicii, like. Oh no, that's 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 a lineup. Dude. So we have to work out some way to get tickets because we need to go and see this today. We need, we're not missing this, man. Question is, do we go with the black shades or the white shades? What do you think? Give me a, give me a decision. Go for white. Yes, boys, you're going with the white ones. I've made my decision. It's up to Vic to make his decision now. I go for the, the black shades. Oh, oh, I like it, I like it. I go for the green shade. <laughs> Dude, you gotta wear them, you gotta wear them. You're taking them out, you're taking them out. <laughs> no, the thing is, I'm gonna wear these during the day, and then when it gets to the night, I'll wear these, because I'm less concerned about losing these. Actually, I don't know, actually. These are kind of like a memento, so I should probably actually look after these more. You can be turning up to hardware this evening, like, there oh, he is. <laughs> you can barely see anything. <laughs> Wait, come here, let's, let's give the viewers an idea of what it's like to wear them. <laughs> like, this is what it's like to wear these glasses. <laughs> hey guys, I can't see anything. <laughs> this is what the pool's like now this morning. It's absolutely dead. Everyone's too hungover from last night. But if we head down here, we're literally gonna walk straight onto the beach, baby. Dude, what the hell is that, bro? <laughs> My dude's crazy, he's cycling sideways. Welcome to the beach, baby. Look at this, it's absolutely massive. It's actually kind of cloudy at the moment, but it's still warm, man, it's still warm. Beach, baby, it's really windy. I don't know how Vic's gonna be able to fly this drone, but I'll show you guys that schedule. Like, Don Diablo live. Tiesto a bonus. I was on stage with him last year at Miami. He's still an absolute beast. And Hardwell, I've been a fan of for four years now at 11. If I can't get tickets, I'm going to be so gutted. My, my mission for today is somehow get into Ultra. I need to see Don Diablo. I need it. So we're trying to convince Vic to use the drone because it is really windy. You can probably hear right now. Do it, Vic. Do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. It's probably the craziest salad I've ever seen. Look, it's a massive bit of lettuce with chicken. Another healthy meal. Whereas Vic's just gone for again unhealthy chips, man. What are you doing, boys? What are you doing? <laughs> Introduce you to the Spanish guys. We've got Mango. <laughs> we've got Cheeto. And we've got Rubius. No one knows who he is. He's a nobody. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't ever take your bands off after events. Minecon from last year, goodness knows, like literally almost my whole arm is just taken up with bands. All right, we've convinced Vic that despite the 20 mile an hour winds, he's got this man, he's setting it up. Look, look at everybody, it's just a bad vlog scene right here as Vic sets it up. <laughs> All right boys, here goes nothing. Boys, it's mad. Ah. Crashed, crashed. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold up.
pool party here are absolutely mad. I'm so tired, but I had a little bit of a rest in the bedroom. I literally just curled up in bed and slept for like an hour. Pool parties are literally insane, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we're about to get tickets for Ultra. You guys know the mission for today is to get tickets to head to Ultra to see Don Diablo. Uh, Tiesto, Hardwell, literally the, the, the hypest cool lineup. We have to be lit. So myself and Vic chilling in the lobby. Hopefully, we can get into Ultra today. Let's see what happens. Now, this is a mad collection of cars, boys. Look at that. Literally just Royal Royces, Bentleys, and Lamborghinis everywhere. So the streets in Miami are packed. We saw some crazy cars right there. Everybody is here for Ultra, baby. We're on our way to get our tickets for today. There were only two tickets. Myself and Vic managed to get them. The Spanish guys like, nah, we're not too interested in today. But how are you not interested in today? You mad. But anyway, we have, fingers crossed, we're almost anyway, successfully gotten tickets for today. So, we're on our way to Ultra, baby. Don Diablo, you ready? I'm ready. It's gonna be sick. We got handed a free pine bar, didn't we? Free snacks on the way to Ultra. <laughs> got it to Wild Pikachu. Alright boys, passes acquired. We're gonna be heading into Ultra Baby and check out this yacht. I think maybe we'll be going on it this evening. Look at that mad yacht. Apparently spinning, may actually be hiring it out. We may be able to go on it this evening. It looks absolutely mad. Ultra's happening literally just over there. Vic, show them your pass. Artist, bro. So Vic's got an, I'm gonna turn off on the main Vic's stage. Vic's got an artist pass, so we may be able to go on stage with Don Diablo. Boys. We were actually told we wouldn't be allowed on there, but we actually now can get on the yacht as well. So backstage pass to Ultra, yacht access. Like, this is mad. This is actually, today is mad. This boat is actually the one, man. Like, I came on and I met Don Diablo, grabbed the picture with him, chatted to him. He's like, oh, dude, I actually used his track in my montage for 2015. He's like, thank you so much for using it. And hopefully he's going to start sending me some of his music a bit early, which is crazy. Then Master Garrix comes in. I'm like, yo, what the hell? What's up, dude? Nicky Romero comes and sits on my table as I'm eating dinner. And then Hardwell walks past. So pretty much met everyone that I could have ever wanted to meet on this boat right now. And Don Diablo is about to start playing. So we need to leave this boat. We need to head to a set to start smashing it. <laughs> Whenever you tweet my music, I always see it on Twitter. I'm like, yes, he knows who I am. So I grabbed the picture with him. It was me in my swimming shorts. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm a lot taller than him, but it was a super nice guy. I was like, do you ever get nervous for these sets? He's like, I never get nervous apart from Ultra. So he's a little bit nervous going on today, but he's gonna be closing out today. Hopefully you can hear him to round off day number two, man. He's been absolutely crazy and a great guy. Alright, Vic and I just refueling, ready for the rest of Ultra. But who thinks Vic and I should buy a yacht boys? Look at that. The Ali Star 123 Yacht Boys! Hey! Alright, guys, we literally have five minutes until Hardwell comes on stage. Honestly, I'm absolutely shattered. I'm so tired. We've held out till this 
final set of the evening should be sick. Hopefully, we may be able to go backstage, we'll see, but let's smash it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to finish off Miami Ultra Day 2, baby. All I can say is that Don Diablo was so sick. I need to go and see him live again. For sure, it's absolutely awesome. We finished off with Hardwell, but honestly, I like the guy. I met the guy. Nice guy. And he's one of the reasons I got into this kind of music, so I can't knock him. But the direction his music's moved is more towards, like, big hard drops. And I don't like that stuff as much anymore. I say go onto YouTube, type in Hardwell On Air 209. Watch that. It is such a good set that he put together. It is amazing. Go and watch that for like classic awesome Hardwell. But anyway, still an awesome day. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. Got another big day tomorrow with Zed. Uh, Galantis should be sick. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.